air of mystery surrounding the shooter in this case, Michael Draca. It, he's not talking right now, and until now has lived a very fairly private life. Eight on your side, investigator Mark Douglas spent today trying to find out more about the man, and you found some interesting things. I sure did, Josh. Uh, and the takeaway for me is that Michael Draca is a kind of walking contradiction the more you look at him. Now, he seems obsessed with enforcing handicapped parking laws, but he has all manner of violations on his own driving record. He's a quiet man with a temper and a gun. What makes Michael Drake a tick? He's not very active on Facebook, but has several pages listed under his name. The owner of the convenience store where Drake killed Marquise McLaughlin tells me. Oh, you know, he's a quiet guy. He comes in here, he shop, he buy his drink, and uh, he, hi, how you doing, and he just leave. But not always. Truck driver Richard Kelly says Draca picked a fight with him two months ago over the same handicapped space that sparked the fatal shooting. He was basically threatening me to shoot me that day, so but I didn't think nothing of it. Records show Draca has all kinds of traffic violations on his own driving record, but appears to have zero tolerance for illegal handicap parking. He was like, you need to move out the handicap, my mom's handicap. Public records show Draca moved from Delaware about eight years ago, got married in Pinellas, but possibly lives alone in a rental home on the edge of Dunedin. In a road rage incident seven years ago, two teenagers claimed that Draca held a black handgun out of his window, an allegation that Draca flatly denied. No charges then, and so far, no charges now for shooting Marquise McLaughlin in this convenience store parking lot just seconds after McLaughlin shoved him to the ground. Now total strangers are trying to figure out what made the quiet man with a gun take a life. Was it fear or was it anger? So I think he's a hothead looking for a fight. That's my opinion. Kids shove each other on the playground. That is not an excuse to shoot somebody that's insane. Motivation means everything when it comes to Michael Drake's future. If prosecutors conclude he was acting as a hothead last Thursday, he could land in prison for the rest of his life. If they believe he was in fear of his life, he gets immunity. But immunity, that wouldn't mean his troubles are over. No, you yeah. see the family, they're very upset. They right. could go after him for a civil action. And it may be a long shot, but the feds could also pursue a civil rights violation in, in federal court. It's a big debate at this point.